Uh, I see the rumor mills creeping back up again. The same rumor mill that's accused me of God knows what else. And this time they've decided that I am faking my cancer diagnosis. And whereas I know that those people know better, I know that nobody's that f***ing stupid. So number one, if you're that kind of person, f***ing stop. I get it's fun to LARP about me. I get it's fun to pretend that I'm a piece of shit. And I get that I made my mistakes in the past. Cancer's not something to pretend about. Cancer's not something to joke about. Cancer's not something pretending that I'm lying about cancer for clout and views is a f***ed up thing to do. Get help. So Code. Vera's not Where on there. Vera's not on the portal. I don't know, man. It's not. I can send you, you a bunch of stuff. That it's I said four days it's... ago you were looking yeah, at it. Yeah, four days ago you said you were looking at it. Like so I it's, told you, it's I spent the there. last year. Like I told you, I spent the last two years getting treated for it. I've been told by my doctor for the last it's two fine, years. It's fine, Boogie. Is, just hey, admit it's not on the portal. It's not on there. I told okay. you this. Okay, thank you. you. When it comes to pretending to be the victim of the year award, no one has a chance against Mr. Boogie. None of these 20-year-old women playing the victim have a slight chance. Boogie is going to drink them up and pee them out like Mountain Dew. Now, the first time we talked about Mr. Boogie was when he came out and he promoted his coin. Fatty told everyone not to buy it and scammed his whole audience who've been supporting him for many, many years for $10,000. And when he was confronted by the scam police, he said that he told his audience not to buy it, blah, blah, blah. You know the rest of the story. And the last time we talked about Mr. Boogie was on a Lol Cow podcast where they confronted them. They asked for proof and they offered them eighty thousand dollars up to to just show proof that you have this cancer and he said not even for a million dollars i'm not going to show you any of it this is a private thing this is a private thing how dare you ask me share private things about my life this is a boundary that i will never cross and blah 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 you know the rest after that podcast he decided to deactivate his twitter go off the internet get his life together and this is what we all wanted for him to just realize that faking cancer is not a cool thing just to get sympathy out of your fans. And saying that the $10,000 that you scammed your audience with was for your cancer treatment and you really needed that money. But just like a kid addicted to candy, he could not stay away from the internet more than two days. He had to come back and activate his Twitter again and get on the podcast. Now in his last podcast, last video we talked about, he specifically said that he has the pyrolevolemia vera. Vera is the key point. You don't need to know the first word. But he said that he has vera in the blood. He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. Why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mar markers in my blood? Which the difference is vera makes it a cancer. It's a blood type of disease, but vera makes it cancer. In this video, he said that he did he doesn't have vera actually, so he was lying in the past stream. So told, vera's not on there. Vera's not on the portal. I don't know, man. It's not. I can send you, you a bunch know. of stuff. Hey. Just admit it's not on the portal. It's not on there. I told okay, you this. I thank you. you. This is honestly a donkey syndrome. Now, I wouldn't judge Boogie in this situation because this is another layer of donkey syndrome where you lie so much that the lie becomes the truth to yourself and you don't you can't tell the difference between lie and the truth anymore and in the third episode of this saga last night boogie again got on a disco call with kim star destiny mudahar it was another law cow podcast that was happening and shit got really sad destiny once again confronted boogie and asked him that your doctor never actually said that you have cancer it was never in your report and here he confirms it that it was never there even though he claimed that it was there and he was fighting for his life that it was there you think i am that degenerate to fake my cancer how dare you all of you you stop it donkey he never told you that you had cancer though that's fair that's true i had to google that okay yes which is oh what we my thought God. and last night he was also asked explain what happened at the doctor how did you come to a conclusion of you have cancer what have you been treating in the past two years that you're claiming that you have cancer i have several doctors we took my blood test we found elevated red blood cell counts and then we looked for other markers we found those markers they determined that it was certainly polycythemia potentially polycythemia vera um and they were going to treat me as if it was polycythemia vera uh, that's what we've done for the last two years with the plan to always eventually get this bone marrow test but again i never wanted to get it done because it's stupid it's painful uh, my friend marie i was talking to her about it last night she said she had it done she literally asked me not to ever get it done she's fighting cancer herself and uh she's she says it's not worth it you're, and you're not you're this is not a riff of manipulation you're being real no. okay no because the added thing because this is probably in the chat right now you know when, when you manipulate 
or you lie, I notice it's like, yeah, my friend told me this and it's the added stuff. Okay. I will send, I'll send you a screenshot of that so, right now if you'd like to see it. To be clear for the audience, what Boogie just said is that his video two years ago should have said, I have this disease. It may be the non-cancer type or the cancer type, but they're treating me for the cancer type. That's what the video should have been. That's what the video exactly should have been. There we go. Um, now, to my knowledge, a polycemia disease is a blood disease where your blood gets too thick. It doesn't flow. So you need to get some medications. You need to go under some treatment. And I don't doubt that he went, but it wasn't a cancer treatment. It was just a blood treatment this happens when you have too much junk food you have a lot of soft drinks no water you don't exercise because exercising actually helps the blood flow this also happens when you are a heavy smoker as well where it thickens your blood that's why you need to balance if you smoke work out just to keep the blood flowing and not let it get too thick in that case you have a very high chance of getting polycythemia or other blood type of diseases because your blood is too thick and it's not flowing now keep in mind there's still a chance of him having cancer but no one is believing even if he actually has cancer and he comes out and he's like, guys, I knew it two years ago. All of you bitches, none of you believe me. Even if he comes out and he says that he has this polycythemia vera cancer, no one's going to believe him. I swear to God, none of, anything that comes out of this guy's mouth, it's, it's very hard to believe. The amount of times he lied throughout his whole career, he makes Pinocchio look like a fucking rookie. And honestly, I wouldn't blame him because this is in YouTubers' natures. Most YouTuber natures, once they get something like a big news in their life, good or bad, they're going to share it with everyone on YouTube. Oh, my dog died. Let me take a video and share it with everyone. Oh, my girlfriend left me. Let me do a breakup video. This is going to get views. Let me pinch myself. You guys remember that woman YouTuber who got exposed of telling, forcing her son to cry because their dog died just to get views, just to get that one out of 10. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. We have to do this. Look at me. She's going to be okay. Repeat this. Say Rosie is healthy. Look at me. And I believe Boogie was doing the same thing, but he didn't realize that lying, a 50 something year old man didn't realize that lying about cancer just to get views it's not a good thing. You're going to get a lot of shit for it. But in his head, he was like, other people recording their dogs dying and their breakups. Let me record this because sh people love it when you share things uh, to your audience. They, we will feel more connected to each other. And I totally agree with this. When you share your personal life, the things you're going through, you get a special bond with your community. There's a special connection. Sure, cry in front of the camera because your dog died. Sure, cry because your girlfriend left you and you fake cry in front of of the internet just to feel connected with your audience and everyone giving you positive comments you deserve better sure but not faking fucking cancer it's not like you're fake crying because your girl left you this is faking cancer you donkey like even for me i share personal things every once in a while left and right and today's personal thing i'm going to share with you so we will create a special bond is at 2 45 p.m i took the juiciest shit ever it was so juicy my ass hair start sprinkling after boogie activated his twitter three days ago this is a message this is his apology to everyone and his explanation i'm not gonna go through all of it i'm just going to go through the main parts according to the internet i lied about cancer yes you did y yes you did this is I don't know why he hasn't deleted this yet because this is fucking a very horrible apology. However, for the last two years, I've been treating the symptoms of that cancer, blood test, medication, and so much more. You just said in your video that cancer was not mentioned in your medication. So you were treating your blood flow. You were treating your blood, not cancer. Say, repeat after me, Boogie, your blood because it was too thick and it wasn't flowing properly. That's why you had to go under treatment and take medication. My brother has seen it in my medical charts. My my girlfriend and best friend have been present when the doctor spoke of it. You just said it's not in your diagnosis, it's not in your chart, and now you say your brother and your girlfriend have seen it in the chart? Donkey! I swear, donkey! We are now doing more tests to confirm the polycythemia vera or determine if there's a second cancer pre- <sighs> I was panicked when my doctor told me I had cancer two years ago and when I was in a vulnerable state. I shared that long before I should have had. It was stupid, stupid thing to do. I should have never jumped on the gun. What he means by this is he should have never shared he has cancer because he actually has cancer. It doesn't mean like he shouldn't share false information. He just means he should have never shared with the internet and kept that cancer private to his 
own life. Cancer is not something I would ever lie about, but I should have waited for the final test to be done and not just repeated what my doctor had said to that. Oh my god. I'm sorry that I ever spoke of it. I'm moving forward. No matter what happens, I will not speak of it publicly. Yes, you will. I'm sorry for those hurt or offended by either of the rumors that have been floating around, but by my actions when I spoke too early about my cancer he's not even sure he has cancer or not but throughout if there's a one percent chance of getting sympathy and people feeling bad for him he will take that chance even though he admitted in the podcast last night that he doesn't have cancer set in his diagnosis I'm, I'm honestly done talking about this the last part about this whole situation is where he threatened to unalive himself when destiny said that they talked about why do you have so much junk food and a mountain dew and boogie said it is a form of self-harm i drink mountain dew because i want to hurt myself and people were destiny said that is full-on cap he went and he brought a kitchen knife threatening to unalive himself it's just extremely very sad right now even he doesn't believe a single word that he says not a single person is supporting this man and he's still trying to find the few people who are supporting him so he can still have a career hopefully i don't have to talk about him anymore did he learn from his mistakes absolutely not it's too late for him to learn and he's going to repeat it again hopefully it's not so big that we have to talk about it or maybe i won't because i just lost interest in this whole thing and he went on the kim star and last night as well and kim star fired him you're fired you have to be fired you like you are fired you are fired you have to be kicked off this show this is crazy this yeah, is I'm so just... bad and i have sympathy for you i actually do and i know a lot of people don't they want you but I do because I understand how complex this is. I truly do. But like, this is like, this is so fucking bad. I don't even have other words than just bad, 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 bad. And I know that you're not evil. I know you're just fucking, I don't even have a better word for this. You're retarded. Uh, that's the word. Just, that's the word I use. But I, I also heard. think because this is so fucking, like, there's so much gray here. This is not a black and white situation. I mean, shit. He may still have cancer. I mean, this is not black and white. It's not like you ran and did like a I got cancer scam and ran a GoFundMe when you never had it. Like that's not it's not like you did something like that. We're not talking about evil, all right? All right. We're talking about a retard. Um so I I feel like even though you're fired and you're going to be gone for a while, um you should have some type of pathway back. You should have to go through hell, to be honest. Yeah. The the play button, we'll sell that. We'll, we'll get it to charity. I mean, Reading these the super day, chats is one. Here's another thing. This should be one of the punishments if you ever want to come back on this show again. Not a single drop of Mountain Dew or Diet Mountain Dew should ever touch your lips again. It should never touch your lips again. That's already a choice I already made. You're yeah, right. right yeah, right. Look, okay, see, this is what I don't... Look, 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 no. look, look, look. Look at what I'm drinking tonight. I brought in two... He's fired, but not permanently. After Kim start, after two days, he realized that he's not getting the engagement that he needs because he's also a child addicted to candy cult views. He's going to bring him back and said, you had enough punishment and just he's going to confront them more and get those views. And did he make the choice of changing his life to the better, living a healthy life? God fucking knows. I don't, I don't even believe a single word he says right now. It's just very pathetic and sad right now of him p putting that voice. That's the choice. I, that's, I, I'm making better choices now. You have to believe me. I'm a better person. <laughs> Hopefully he changes his life to better. I honestly don't care. I just don't want to put judgment or judge him anymore because that's just up to God. And who knows? Maybe he drops dead tomorrow and... I, I'll feel f guilty about it for judging him this whole time, even though he did a very horrible thing. Let's just move on with our lives. I just wanted to update you about the whole boogie situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to drink water. Le leave that Coke and Pepsi and Mountain Dew. This is the best thing, even though it's very normal and very boring, but this is still the best thing in your life. Health is honestly the most valuable thing in your life. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. 90 something percent of you are not subscribed. If you enjoyed the yapping sessions, click it's for free. Click that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.